episode number five, Brian Decoded Show. Thank you for tuning in. Today, a very dear topic of mine, one of my favorites. Why the easiest business to start and run is a service-based business. I have a one very simple answer to a question, why do service businesses do so well? And the reason is very simple. Because nobody's fucking working. If you try running a business, right? Try get people to work. Like it's hard. Before I started my own company, I was running Etex marketing department for six years, give or take, right? Nobody's fucking working, especially in America. That's the whole thing. People don't want to work. They don't want to work as an employee. They don't want to work as a business owner. Everyone is trying to swindle the next dollar and do the absolute bare minimum to get paid. As a business owner, you lose your fucking shit when people are not working. You're paying them for work and they don't want to work. And that's why, my friends, starting a service-based business is the opportunity of a lifetime. Because if you can secure the means of production, you have the power. It's as simple as that. And nobody wants to do any kind of work. It's a meme. Nobody's fucking working is a meme. And I stand by it. I stand by it. It's very hard. Like, I have almost a decade of managerial experience, meaning I know how to motivate a person to actually get their job done. We have methods and systems in place that are ensuring that the job gets done. That is a system. And if you look at the modern American company that employs a Gen Z, that employs a millennial, these guys are soft. They have no ability to maintain cognitive capacity for eight hours in a day. No single person that was born in 1985 or younger in this generation, and I would say like 99% of them, have no capacity to maintain focus and discipline over extended periods of time. It is practically impossible for someone in this generation to maintain four hours of focus work. It is practically impossible. So when people find that there are actually pockets of the world where people have continuously sustained concentration over a problem and that they're successfully solving those problems in repetition, you built a massive, and I mean massive reputation as a company that gets shit done. We had clients, there's a whole different story, but they are trying to uncouple themselves from us in managing their websites. And they can't because they can't find a web developer that can do the same things expeditiously and on deadline as our company can. And they come back and they come back even though they could find someone in India for cheaper. Finding that person is a job in and of itself. So when you're starting a service-based business, you gotta find the clients, you're selling, then you gotta find the employees that are gonna do the fulfillment, you're recruiting. We are recruiting nonstop. Whether we need the employees or we don't need the employees, there is a hiring process all the time. And the opportunity lies in the fact that we are finding those that are willing to work and flipping their labor at the markup. As simple as that. But being a prudent business owner, you are very careful about who you're putting into your business. And you finding a good talent and you finding someone willing to work is what you are selling. That's the power in and of itself. You sell certainty in an uncertain world. Sounds simple. Oh, just flip somebody else's labor. Go manage those people first. Hire them on your own projects. Do not sell them immediately. Put them on an internship program. We put our internship program for 120 days. In those 120 days, I know how they breathe, how they sleep, how they think. 
right? I do not yield and offer someone a job opportunity until I got the taste of who they are as a talent. That's how, that's how you make it. There's no other way you're going to do it. And you need to have a good operations team. Someone needs to send all those invoices. Someone needs to process all those emails. And then we get hundreds of them. It doesn't come easy. Finding and cultivating and keeping and retaining a good talent is the name of the game. It means that you are not a salesperson. It does not mean you are a recruiter. You are both should you want to succeed or you're teaming up with someone else who can supplement the part that you are lacking. That is how you start a service-based business. The good thing about service-based businesses is it takes zero dollars to start, almost zero. No business takes zero dollars, but agencies, no matter what kind, agencies are near zero dollar down businesses. You need to have a good head on your shoulder and you need to take responsibility for what you are embarking on. I took responsibility so many times. We lost money on some deals because we had dumb employees that messed it up and I had to pay out of my own pocket to finish up what was agreed. That's how you build a reputation because the client never knew that we had a delivery problem because I patched it up from the other side. That's how you run a business. If you go look at our reviews, clutch reviews, Upwork reviews, 100% job success score. I'm defending that reputation for my dear life. I say no to clients that I think could be a pain in the ass so that I can get every job done. That is something that is easing up on your advertising expenses as you're building your company. It doesn't happen on its own. It happens because you made it happen, right? The, the first few years of my business were brutal. I was like under a lot of stress and working 12 hour days because I was taking up the opportunities because I had to. Now I can get choosy, things are getting easier, there's more profits, there's more marketing, there's more opportunity because I made those opportunities. But in that first on-ramp of creating your company, takes up a lot of energy. And you get to learn a lot of lessons that when you look back and, and, and I'm looking at some of my students right now that they're starting their own service-based businesses and I'm thinking to myself, Damn, that's like five years ago that I had these problems and I had no one to help me out. No one was there to help me out. And that was one of the things that I missed the most is the support from someone who did it. If, if I could start all over again, I'd probably have a coach from day one. Because I have coaches right now. Like I, I have a lot of support spent over $50,000 on, on various different types of materials to get me to where I need to be. It's worth the investment because when we started spending this much on coaching, our business doubled, right? Having an access to the contextually relevant information is the way you accelerate your path to success. And there is no better way to start your journey if you don't have an investor if you don't have the money and you have the time, there is nothing better than starting a service-based business. Because the moment you sell and you know how to hire is the moment you start winning. There's no other way for someone who is born and raised in a foreign country like myself, having no backing, nothing, the only thing you can count on is yourself. You can always send that cold email, do that cold outreach, send that Upwork proposal. There's manual things that are not scalable that no one else would be willing to do in the economy where nobody's fucking working. And when you start to realize that the competition for the actual work is so dismal, and if you can secure the means of production, you have unlocked opportunities for your entire lifetime. 
There is no going back to ground zero. You're never going to be broke again. And if you can't find someone else to do the job, guess what? You can do it. There is not that much competition in the market of someone wanting to do the job. Everyone's trying to sell a course. Everyone's trying to flip a product. Everyone's trying to manipulate the client into paying more than they should be. There's all sorts of things going on. And when you try to see who is actually trying to do the job, there is nobody. There's a wasteland. And it's a, such a huge demand for project, com, project completions. And that, my friends, is how you make your first big money, is by starting your service-based business. Thank you for watching. Over and out.